Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is the Samuel and Amanda show. Hey guys, nice to be back again this week. I love the setting. You've done a great job. I mean, we, <laughs> look, it up every we week. look great on camera. The the background is awesome. Amanda's basically Amanda's responsible for always getting the lighting right. And you know what she always does? She always sets it so that she looks great. I look really pasty. No, no, no. Lights. Actually, what happens is I always look fine in the shot, and then Samuel steps in, and then suddenly to balance this out, it makes me look really, really dark all of a sudden. What, what do you mean? Did, is that just because I'm there, or is that because well, the yeah, camera because changes? You're, no, because you're light. Well, you're white, and I'm black. So it just reflects off of you. Yeah. But I think we complement each other well, actually. But anyway, um, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about fashion and clothes and the importance of fashion and clothes in business because it's something that I get pulled up on all the time <laughs> and ironically Amanda is a fashion designer no, 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 okay, no. Samuel says something sometimes. I mean, it's a great compliment, but I'm not a fashion designer. You might not be a professional prof no, 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 When no, we no. met, let me ask you a question. Did you, answering yes or no, did you or did you not have a website as a fashion designer? I did. Yep. Yeah. No, wait, wait, so wait, when we know wait, 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 it was a fashion stylist. Okay, sorry, Amanda is a fashion stylist. <laughs> Self-appointed, by Self -appointed. the way. It's not like a, it was never a job or anything no, like that. No, but you just kind of you just did it as a hobby, right? Yeah, I just you did. helped your friends and you had a little website. Yeah, I did. You know, a beautiful website. In fact, Amanda hasn't changed a bit since we got married. You even wore after having three kids. You wore the dress <laughs> that you were wearing when we very first met. I know, I've still got it, and I think I'm gonna keep it all, like forever. And it fits. I know. That's it crazy. Fit. And again, that's fashion as well. Yeah. Fashion. So, so fashion um, and, and business, and you know, obviously, you can tell by looking. I take a lot of pride in my fashion. You know, I wear wonderful <laughs> t-shirts every single day, the same clothes. I pretty much wear the same clothes so, every day. Yeah, you're quite predictable in your clothing. Which we're gonna get onto. Yes. But right now, what have you been up to this week? This week's been fun. Um, I'm actually, and I haven't talked to you yet about it, but we want to, one of our tenants has moved out of one of our properties in Wales. And oh, I'm yeah. thinking, you've said Not before, thinking. Well, like, you've said that you want to have it as like an SA. Yes. Serves accommodation. Yeah. Um, I was, when you told me that they were leaving, I was rejoicing because I was thinking, we're losing so much money on the house. I know, it's in a beautiful location. That was the there. house that when I went to Snowdon, do you remember? When I went, I went to Snowdon, I didn't stay in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you, have you told the story before? No. Oh, right. Okay. Should I tell the story? Yeah, yeah, go on. It's a good story. Yeah, it's a good I went story. to Snowdon. <laughs> Mandy always books my hotels. Did, did you mess up on that day? Did you not book me a hotel? No, I think, I don't know what happened, but no, no, you said, oh, no, it's fine. Don't worry about booking. Yeah, I don't worry. like to book hotels yeah. until the day of because my pl plans continually change. So if, if, if I'm like booking, a, if I'm going away somewhere in like three or four days, and Amanda's like, do you want to book you a hotel? I'm always like, mm, yeah. Wait until the day of when I'm actually driving and we, I know I'm going to go there. Yeah. However, that plan backfired on me because I was driving to Snowdon and I said to Amanda, book me a hotel. She ran me and she goes, Samuel, I cannot find you a hotel. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, just find something. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just find me a travel lodge. She goes, I'll have a try. You remember back yeah. 20 minutes later and what happened? There was no hotels. Nothing. Nope. Within how far? Could you just within, book me on 20 minutes down the road? No, no, no. Within like half an hour of the house, there wasn't any hotels available. Nothing? Yeah. Of the house? I, w I was climbing Snowden, so I was just saying, book me somewhere near Snowden. There yeah. was no house at this, at this oh, time. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. There wasn't a house. Mm -hmm. Then I said, we own a house yeah. in Snowdonia area. Yeah. She goes, there's no tenants in there, so you can go and crash there. Yeah. She says, there's no sleeping blankets. It's gonna be a really rubbish night, but yeah. I'm like, there's like five of us, three bed house. So we just turn up at one of my one of my houses. Mandy gives me the key safe code. When we get there, there's actually a tenant in the house. <laughs> We've got the wrong date. There's been some mix up, right? I knock the door. The tenants open the door. I'm like, are they squatters? Yeah, cause you were shocked. Amanda told me there was no one here. <laughs> are they squatters? They're like. Hi, I'm like, give me a moment. I ring Amanda, bear in mind it's like midnight. Mandy's like, oh yeah, actually I think there was a mix up there, are there, whatever. So I said to them, I need to crash here. 
do you mind? They were like, no, come on in, you're a great landlord. <laughs> I said, I got another four friends with me. They're like, um, we ended up sleeping on the floor, right? I felt yeah. envy that night. On the floor! So, the moral of the story is, <laughs> the fact that there's no hotels around that area yeah, yeah. means we need a hotel in the area. That house, the tenants have now finally moved out. So we need to rent, do that as, as an Airbnb. Anyway, so that's what we've been up to. Yes, yeah, that's what I've been up to. Anyway. I've been dealing with, I've been driving around like crazy, haven't I? You've been oh, here, there and everywhere. My back is aching from all the driving. I need another massage. <laughs> you had your first massage after I the pregnancy? I did, first massage, it was so nice. Like I really, that's the only thing I miss when I'm pregnant. And I know that they say you can have a massage when you're pregnant. But I just don't trust it. I just don't want to risk it just in case. Because they say like they might do something on your back that then might affect the baby. So I just never take that chance. So mm. I had my first massage. It was like an hour long. Really like full body. Oh, it was amazing. So I love that. And I've started working out this week. That's oh, another yeah. thing. So I started exercising again. She was um, saying to me this morning, she was saying, I'm not sure what my workouts. She's <laughs> literally said, she goes, the workouts that I'm doing. I'm not losing any weight. I said, sweetie, <laughs> it's your second workout since... No, come on, I think people can relate to this, okay? When you've eaten really, really well for one day, exercise and done, done everything, you feel like when you step on the scales, it's gonna reflect that immediately. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah so I need to be patient. You were like, trust the... I put a little bit of weight back on. Annoyingly, it's depressing looking at pictures from Aww. like six, eight months ago, because now I'm bigger than I was. Lockdown has been so long <laughs> that when lockdown happened, I got in shape. Now I've got out of shape again. Now I'm going to get back in shape all before lockdown lives proper way. That's how long lockdown has been. It is it. depressing when you, um, it's just, it's the hardest part of my life is. Your way. Is, is, is yeah, being, being, eating food. Right. You know, like, it's the, you know when you do the wheel? Mm -hmm. You know the wheel and it's like you've got finances, church, recreation, friends, family, relationships, spirituality and you have to do the wheel and it shows you how balanced you are in your life. Yeah. If you're really rich but you, you've got a terrible marriage, that's not great, mm -hmm. you know. The bad one for me is always food. Mm. I think it's just because I'm on the road so much. That's an you excuse. You like convenience. It is an excuse, yeah. but it's convenience, isn't it? But I work out every single day. Yeah. I spend like an hour every day working out. But I know why I'm overweight. It's because I just eat whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> Which Simply. sometimes is a lot and bad foods and stuff like that. Yeah. So I am struggling but trying and you know, it's one of those things whereby I don't know. I guess you, 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 everyone's gonna have certain things that they struggle with more than others. I know guys that are really ripped, but they struggle with their finances, mm. and it's just, it's just one of those things. So yeah. At least you're working on it. So. Working, working on it, working yeah. on it. And now we're doing it together. We are. Because I've joined you again. Fashion. By the way, we didn't have any questions from the last podcast. We had loads of nice comments. Thanks Everyone was for like, the nice comments. Thanks for the nice comments, but like no questions. So any questions that you've got about money, marriage, life, business, personally about me and Amanda, drop them below and we will do our very best to answer them next week. We're quite a transparent couple. Yes, we we've are. We've had ups, we've had downs, mostly ups. Um, but yeah, really open, so just ask us anything. So fashion, I wanna talk with you, Amanda, yeah. about fashion because in business, like, sometimes you hear stories like, some, you know the dragon's den? Yeah. If someone walks in on the dragon's den and they're not wearing a suit, the dragons will be like, you look like a scruff, and they, and they won't do business with them. Mm -hmm. So there's an argument to say that your appearance is really important, what you wear is really important. You are a fashion, <laughs> what? what was it again? Oh my goodness, fashion stylist. Fashion stylist. No, no, no. It's not like an official thing, by the way. It's just, you know. It's like I'm a not... very official thing. That no, Amanda no, no, no. Amanda no. Lee's. Do you remember when, <laughs> remember when you came on um, The Eviction? Um, and, and when you go on The Eviction on the oh, show, they, they put your name and then they put your occupation. And I'm sure they said you were an interior designer, yeah. which again is one of those things that you oh, did a course. Oh my gosh. You... I did a course in it, yes. And I'm interested and, you know, yeah. <laughs> but 
But they said what <laughs> they put into it because I don't know. I was like, get them to change it. Why does it say that? I never, I never got them to change it. No one cares. No one cares. <laughs> um, but anyway, so you are um, a fashion. No, okay. Let's person. just say I'm fashion conscious. You love fashion. I'm um, yeah, yeah, I do, and I'm conscious of what I wear, and I'm bothered about what I wear. Whereas you aren't. Yeah. So, talk to me about why do you think it's important to be fashionable? Okay. And then I'll talk about why I think fashion is overrated. Not to say appearance isn't important, of <laughs> course, but just why it's potentially overrated. And then we can let the audience make up their minds. I know everyone's going to agree with you. <laughs> yeah, because I think most people do um, think that it's important. But I think dressing well is very important because of first impressions, for, for example. So when you meet someone for the first time, yeah. the first thing that they see is what you're wearing. Yeah. So I think like if you do, I think if, it, if you're unkempt, then it kind of says a little bit about you in that you probably, you're a bit careless, Maybe not that clean, depending on what you're wearing. Yeah, but there's a, no, 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 no. There's a big difference between not being fashionable and wearing fa designer okay, and, yeah, yeah, and not being hygienic. Okay. They are two different things. Okay, but you don't have to wear designer clothes yeah. to, to you know, to look um, appealing. No, like what, what I wear, right? Yeah. I wear the same clothes every day. I just wear like really basic tops. Yeah. To, I'm very clean. I shower twice a day. It's got nothing to do with hygiene here. Like, okay. It's not messy. It's not unkept. My the only thing that's unkept about me right now is my hair. And Please rate my haircut because I gave him a haircut last week and he's been. More, he put on oh. his Instagram. He put on his Instagram. He rated me a five out of ten for his haircut. I personally think for someone who's not a hairdresser, right? I think I've done all right. And he's the one that kept saying, no, I want it short, I want it short. So it ended up this short. And yeah. You gel it up. I didn't say it was, a five out of 10 isn't bad, it's average. I'm going. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I just think that it's important with hydro. Yeah. So I don't think you have to wear designer things. I mean, yeah. I don't pretty, I don't wear designer things all the time. Um, but, and I don't even dress up like all fancy all the time. But I do think that you kind of have to take pride in your appearance, yes. Yeah. All the time. Uh, listen, Whereas you, like, if you yeah. just can't be bothered, you just can't be bothered. If I'm leaving the house, then you kind of have to look a bit, you know, presentable. Yeah, I don't disagree with you. I think appearance is important. I guess what I think there is, I think that when I say, I think it's um, fashion is overrated mm -hmm. because I just think it's crazy that if this top, the exact same top, mm -hmm. had a little Gucci symbol here. Yeah it would be 100 times the price, potentially. That's ridiculous. Yeah, okay, so, I don't know. I think, I do think sometimes with certain pieces of clothing, it's like, mm, what's the point? But I think there is some things that you can actually buy and invest in that will last you a long, long time. Or we'll buy 10 of them. No, 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 babe, no. <laughs> don't say that. That is what I do though, Yeah, 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 so Samuel, <laughs> He found that he loved these polos. Like the comfy, simple. So he was like, he's just like, oh, just buy me like 10, 20 of those. So then he just buy, he just wears the same thing. It looks like he's just wearing the same top every day, but he's not. He like has, literally, if you open the wardrobe, it's like just all of these. Yeah, all oh, belts. If I find a belt yeah. that fits me, a nice belt, you know, a 12 pound belt, not too expensive, just a nice belt, I'll be like, can you get me 10? Yeah, you something know. that frustrates me actually with Samuel, and I've told you this before, yeah. if he goes anywhere, he always loses stuff or <sighs> leaves things behind. Wow. So, I'll buy him something nice, might be designer or might just be just something that costs a bit more than something cheap. Uh, he had a pair of Yeezy trainers, he went to New York, did I? Yes. I did, yeah. he went to your FF Challenge in Where New York, and he left them in a hotel room, and he's oh. just like, mm, a pair of Yeezys, what else yeah. have you done? Like anything like that, Ralph Lauren jumpers, anything. Also expensive um, it's sprays. Always, yeah, expense, expensive. Um, I live, I live, it's so difficult because when you go to, oh, I'm, I'm, in, oh I'm in hotels all the time. Yeah. It, when you get your toiletry bag and if I've got like a hundred pound spray, it's like, it's just such a and waste. Uh, so, oh, what is, so I'll, 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 I'll put my toiletry stuff in the toilet, in the hotel toilet. I'm going from hotel to hotel. And it's so easy to forget. Right, yeah. So, <laughs> so, it's, it's, so it's funny. So the fact that because if I have something that costs like, I don't know, something that's designer or anything, whatever, something that just costs a bit of money, I'll always be like, alright, oh, I need to pack this away. Whereas like, no matter how much it costs, you'll look at something, I'll buy you something and you won't, you'll just be like, oh, thanks. And so I don't think like you're even aware. No, like, I'm not. 
So he's not like even aware or bothered about, oh, is this fashionable, is it not? As long as it feels good. As long as it's good. Like, yeah. oh my gosh. We did the day when we went into town. He was gonna go paragliding and he needed some like boots that supported his ankle. So we went into Sports Direct mm. and then Samuel was like, mm, gosh, you know, if it wasn't for you, I'd just be wearing these shoes all the time. There were some good shoes in and, there. And there were sketches, but not like sketches with tray with laces. There were sketches that you just slip like plimsolls that you just slip your foot into. And because so again, he likes convenience, he doesn't like laces on his trainers, on his shoes. So I was like, sketches. I mean, nothing. I don't even know what sketches are. I just thought they were nice, comfy. But you see what I mean? Like he hasn't even got a clue. Like yeah. he just doesn't even. Yeah, he I, just. I just think there's things that are fashionable that are like in. <laughs> I don't keep up with that. To uh, me, if it's comfy, if it looks nice. Yeah, it's you're clean. more comfort over anything, but. Yeah. I just think, no, you can't wear sketches. It, like. is, it is really interesting how different we are in that area. Yeah, we're very different in but that the, area. But the flip side to me losing stuff is sometimes it comes, it pays off to your advantage because if, <laughs> I'm, if, I, if I'm in love with something, like if I'm in love with like my yellow hoodie, yeah. they used to do it all the time and Amanda used to be a bit like, mm. Yeah, he had a yellow hoodie and a yellow coat. Yeah, I used to wear it all like, the time. Oh. Nice, bright, yellow, happy. You can see him coming. Com comfy. <laughs> Easy, loved it, lost it, and now I don't have a yellow hoodie anymore. So the yellow hoodie is no more. <laughs> is no more. So yeah, so, so I, I think also here, let me let me just argue as well. Rather than arguing against fashion and it being overrated, I think what's way more important than yeah. fashion is who you are. Oh yeah, definitely. And I think if you are a confident person. And if you are if you are a good communicator, yeah. if you are well spoken, if you are kind, a kind person, if you add value in business, if mm -hmm. you look at focus on your staff and your customers, and like as long as you don't look bad, as long as you look respectable, like this isn't bad. No, it's not bad. It's respectable, mm -hmm. but it's so quick and easy. I would rather have ten of these. No one cares. Like you will say, oh, I don't want to wear that dress because I wore that three months ago, and I'm going to the same event, and there were some of the same people. I'm like, who gives a monkey? No one cares. And anyone that does care, anyone that's going, hm, she wore that dress three months ago. Can she not afford another dress? Like. <laughs> Who cares? I get people all the time cushioning me because of my weight, my appearance, my clothes, trolls online. Yeah. And it's like, if they're that sad, I don't care what they think. I care what you think. Mm -hmm. I care what my family think or my customers, my business. But like, I just want to live a simple life. I want to just get up. I don't, have, I don't have to spend time thinking about what to wear. I want to be thinking about how I'm gonna be affected that day. Mm -hmm. So any brain, and in fact, if you look at some of the richest people in the world, this isn't just me, I know I'm not freaking richest person in the world, <laughs> by a long <laughs> way, but if you look at like people like Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates, and even people like Simon Cowell, they also wear the same yeah, clothes. they're always up <laughs> they, wear, they wear the same clothes every day, and guess what? No one cares. That's my, that's, what do you have to say? Yeah, no, I, I, I totally get what you mean, and I think, like for me, I don't dress for anyone and I don't really care what anyone thinks. It's more about just me and satisfying myself. Yeah, so no, that's true. I think that's the important thing. But yeah, so just do you, I guess, if you're happy. And you do dress me, like you do put my clothes up for me. Yeah. I know you're guided by me going back I, down. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, I did some shopping for Samuel. We haven't even... Two like, weeks ago? Two weeks ago, maybe even a bit more. Yeah. He's got new shoes, new tops. Some shorts, like chino shorts and stuff. Yeah. He hasn't even opened the package, and I've been like, oh, you need to try it on, you need to try it on. And he's not even, I like, no interest. So, like, even I'm though, glad that you bought them for me, I'm grateful. And if I wake up and they're there, I'll wear them. No, 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 but even now, right, he used to be, used to be really good because you just wear whatever I put out. Sometimes he's like, I don't want to wear that top. I'm a rebellious. Yeah, now he's, like, <laughs> now he's got a mind of his own, and he's like, no, I don't want that one. I want my, my, my navy, my navy <laughs> top, and I'm just like, oh my goodness. So yeah. It's yeah, just I think as well, um, when when you are slimmer, and I know I'm not like really flat or anything, but I am a little bit. Of a, it you can't ex you can't experiment as much. Right. You can't be quite as so. Sometimes there'll be like a shirt, but if it doesn't quite. Fit, mm. Or if I think it's gonna lift up and show my stomach or something, it's like you know what? I just rather just wear my. This is safe. 
<laughs> I'm safe wearing this. Like, <laughs> so it's just like, I don't want to think, I don't want to have to mess around or, you know, so I think by the, but when lockdown finishes, well, I've lost a bit of weight again. I'm back in shape. We can do like a shopping day. We'll do a shopping day. We'll vlog it. Yeah, we'll vlog it. That'll be we'll fun. vlog it, a shopping day, do a show and tell. And because again, the reason that I'm trying to be in shape, it's not for anybody else, it's for me because it's more of a health thing. Like, I, I, I do Booper, you know, Booper, we do oh, Booper yeah. every year. And, and, the and, and, and they'll be like, look, man, and it, it isn't healthy. So, the weight thing, I think, is more for me and for my family and for my kids to have energy. Um, the clothes thing, I'm not so bothered about. But, there we are. Do you there agree with me or do you agree with Amanda? Yeah, he's right. Um, we haven't got any questions from last week, so normally we, at this point we take questions. Yeah. Which is really awkward now, so we're just going to sit in silence for five minutes. Um, while, <laughs> while you put questions for next week, okay? So put some questions for next week. Um, and I don't know what we're going to be talking about next week, but we'll always keep it fresh. Money, marriage, life. Whatever you want to hear about, whatever you want us to talk about, let us know in the comments and we will cater to your interests for your entertainment and education. <laughs> That's um, right. Final words of wisdom? Uh, okay. Um, simply treat others as you'd like to be treated. I see people like writing mean comments all the time. Yeah. Online, especially. And I just think it's so ridiculous. If the person was in front of you, you'd never say those things. So why do you have the balls to say it over, over the computer? Um, so yeah, just think before you type and just be nice and spread love and kindness everywhere you go. That's so true. Spread love and kindness everywhere you go. Yeah. Treat everybody as family because ultimately we are, we're all, we're all one. Um, but we're all one race, which is the human race. Um, but yeah, so thanks so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you guys next time. Peace out. See ya.